Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff Morella and we're here to talk about your Medtrans insurance program and the core documents associated with that program. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, my name is Gabby Morella, and I'm going to first give you a quick overview of the Medtrans program, and then we will demonstrate a slide which illustrates the core documents and how they interplay with each other within the program. So first, for the Medtrans program, an employer funds their own self-funded health plan and establishes a cell captive, also known as a single parent captive, to ensure the risks associated with that health plan. The cell captive then enters into a participation agreement, a reinsurance agreement, and a retrocession agreement for coverage of certain risks associated with the health plan, as well as to share in the risk of other participants' health plans within the Medtrans captive insurance program. The flow of funds here is that premium will be paid from the insured to their cell captive, which is then remitted to Medtrans on a funds withheld basis for claim payment. Thank you, Gabby. As Gabby mentioned, the, the core documents are the participation agreement, the reinsurance agreement, and the retrocession agreement. The participation agreement, obviously, is, is what you sign and, and you execute to participate in the program. The reinsurance agreement is the agreement between your cell and Medtrans where it will reinsure your cell for coverages that hit the Medtrans insurance program. And the retrocession agreement is the agreement that sets forth how all the participants in the program are, are reimbursed for medical coverage, stop loss coverage, and also your participation in the underwriting, underwriting profits of the program. Thanks, Jeff. And now we'll put up the, the slide that will demonstrate the core documents of the program. The participation agreement, like Jeff said, is the agreement that establishes your cell's relationship between the cell captive, the insured, and Medtrans. This document set forth all of the government's matters within the Medtrans program, including capitalization, and also establishes the cell captive's ownership of Medtrans. The medical stop loss policy is the insurance policy between the cell captive and the insured or the employer, which establishes what risks of the employer funded benefit plan are covered through the Medtrans insurance program. Thanks, Gabby. The reinsurance agreement is the agreement that shifts 100% of the eligible medical stop loss risk to Medtrans and the retrocession agreement is the agreement that establishes how the Medtrans participants share in the risk of each participant in the employer-funded benefit plan and delineates the release of the underwriting profits back to the cell captives. Right, Jeff. Thanks for that. So this concludes our quick synopsis of the core documents of the Medtrans program, which are vital to each cell captive's success in the Medtrans captive insurance program. Please contact your team at Complete Captive with any questions, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks.